The 1960s bore witness to some of the greatest achievements in the long struggle for African-American civil rights. Fearless young activists staged sit-ins and marches demanding freedom now. Among them was a young woman named Brenda Travis of Macomb, Mississippi. The daughter of sharecroppers, Travis, at an early age, was forced to confront the brutal risks that came with being black in white America. When her older brother was just 13, he was arrested in the middle of the night without his parents being informed of his alleged crime. There was an immediate fear that he would suffer a fate similar to that of Emmett Till. This early encounter lit a fire in the young Travis to do her part in the fight for civil rights. In 1961, when she was only 16, Travis met with a young organizer from the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. His name was Bob Moses, and he happened to be in town recruiting volunteers to drive voter registration. She became involved in SNCC and led a sit-in at the Greyhound bus terminal in the town. And she's in fact arrested. Notably, she is not charged with violating a segregation ordinance. She's charged with trespassing. This was a way for uh, the state authorities uh, not to wind up in a legal challenge of the constitutionality of Jim Crow laws. Two other activists had been jailed just days prior for sitting in at a Woolworths counter. Together, the young protesters at the center of these events would come to be known as the Macomb Five. Brenda Travis, the youngest protester and the only girl, was jailed for a month. Upon release, she found that she'd been expelled from school. As the news spread, more than 100 of her classmates walked out of Berglund High School and marched down to the Macomb City Hall in protest, with support from the local chapter of SNCC. The risk with their lives that young black organizers took in the 1960s forced a reckoning with Jim Crow that awakened a nation to the cause of freedom.